want to be able to do is show you how to make these cool leather bow ties. There's a lot of people that's making bow ties. Everybody have their own way of making them. I'm going to show you how I make them. Now this is also another product that you can make and you really don't need a sewing machine uh, in order to do this. But if you do have one, what that would allow you to do, it would allow you to give it a, a finished look. And just to kind of show you the process uh, before we make it so you can kind of see it before we even make it and understand that this is very simple to do. And basically what, what the, the way I make the bow ties is that first I will, I will make a pattern. Now this, this pattern here is for this, this bow tie right here. This pattern is for this bow tie right here. Now, I'll give you the measurements. And, and you can make the bow tie uh, as thin as you want and as wide as you want. It, it's all, it, it all depends upon what, what you want to do. There's going to be a front and a back to the bow tie. So you would cut out the two pieces, you would glue them together. Once they're glued together, like I say, you can sew it or you don't have to sew it. And once it's put together, you just bend the bow tie like this. This is your bow tie. Now, this part here, which is this piece right here, which will wrap around. Like this. But, you also have to have the piece that's going to wrap around the neck. And I'll, I would also show you how to put these, uh, the bow tie hardware on to where you can make it adjustable. I see a lot of bow ties that people are making, they will use snaps, they will use ribbon, but I will show you how to make them to where it gives it a finished look to where you can adjust the bow tie. First, first thing we're going to do is that we're going to start with the pattern and we will get a ruler. This bow tie here, the pattern is five and a quarter by two and a quarter. So which is five, I'm sorry, five and three quarters, five and three quarters by two and three quarters. Now this one, which is this bow tie here, this one here is three and a half by five and a half. Okay. okay. This one I measured wrong. This one here is this is five and a half by two and three quarters. So it's five and a half by two and three quarters. Now this one is five and a half by three and a half. five and a half by three and a half. So now we have the measurements for our two bow ties. What I would do, uh, we will use the, the five and a half by two and three quarters and we will make this bow tie here. Okay, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and, and measure out my 
um, my my pattern. So I'm going to go five and a half by two and three quarters. Okay, now that I have my pattern cut out, one of the things that I want to show you is, is your leather. You want to make sure that your leather is, is thin because you're putting two pieces together. And if it's too thick, it's going to be, uh, when you try to, to fold it in like this, it's going to be too thick and and you will know it's too thick you know uh, sometimes we will because we like the color of something or we like something about it we will kind of force it but if your gut feeling is telling you it's too thick it's too thick for example like this this leather here is, is definitely too thick because when, if I take it and I squeeze it there's so much resistance there and that's what you do not want because you're gonna have to you have to press this in so you don't want a lot of resistance in, in your leather so you want to make sure that you're using a, a thin piece of leather and it doesn't have to be the same color on the front and back uh, you can make it to where it's it's two different colors for example this have black on the back don't have one with me like that but anyway you don't have it doesn't have to be the same color and even for the uh, for the strip itself that's going to go around the neck it doesn't have to be the same color as your bow tie because people won't see that anyway and we're going to go ahead and cut this out I'm gonna use this blue I'll just take my pattern and I will trace this out and get a pin. to use a rotary cutter to cut this out you can use scissors if you don't have a rotary cutter but I'm going to use a rotary cutter to cut this out
Now I'm going to cut out my second one. Now what I should have done was I should have marked my pattern so I have a, a side one and side two so when I cut the two out I will make sure that I flip my pattern so since I did not do that I need to line this up and I need to recut this because I did not cut this straight That will make a difference when I'm putting this together. Okay. Now, I'm going to trace and cut out my second one. So, what I need to do. I need to have a side one and a side two. So I did one and I need to flip my pattern to side two so I'll make sure when I put them together they match up. Okay, now that I have my two pieces cut out, the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to I'm going to uh, mark off a half inch because I'm going to glue it and fold it. So let me get my Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to glue these and I'm using the uh, water base cement glue. I don't need a lot. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure off a half inch on each end. And this is going to be for the purpose of gluing. I have these measured I'm going to put just a little glue
over to the line that I measured out. Okay, now that I have these glued, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to glue these two, put them together, and that would be a bow tie. You want to be very neat when you're doing your glue and also don't go too heavy on your glue and be very careful when you're doing around your edges because the glue can get on the front side of your bow tie and it, and it depends on the leather or how easy it would be to, to get that glue off. So it's always best to just take your time and be neat. Now when I get ready to do these parts here, I especially want to be careful that I don't go too heavy. So I just want them to stick together long enough for me to sew it. thing that I forgot to do I forgot to turn them and make sure that I knew which side matches up with the other side because it all depends on which way I turn this of what's going to match up and that's why I put a number one and a number two so when I put them together they will match up so since I did not do that I'm going to have to I have to turn it. Okay, these two sides will match up. And you want to make sure that 
you get them as even as possible. Now leather will bend, so what you want to do, you want to make sure it lines up. Make sure your edges, everything lines up. This is going to make a big difference when you sew this. Or if you're not going to sew it, you still want it to, to look like everything matches up. You don't have to go back and try to retrim. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to sew this. And uh, like I said, you don't have to. But this is your bow tie. So we're going to cut the strip that will go around it. And this, this strip is 3 quarter of an inch wide by 6 and a quarter. So we're going to cut it out three quarter inch by six and a quarter. Okay, next thing we'll do, we'll, we'll cut out the piece that's going to wrap around the bow, bow tie. And like I say, this is six and, six and a quarter by a quarter of an inch wide. So what I'll do, since I don't have a straight edge here, I will cut a straight edge. So I need six and a quarter by three quarters. So this will be the, p the piece that will go around the bow tie. I need to square out my end. Now we will sew this. Like I say, you don't have to, but because we do have a sewing machine, I will show you how to sew this. Okay, now we're going to sew this. What I like to do, I like to start my stitch center at, at the bottom. Or I could be, I mean, you can call it the bottom or top. It, it won't matter because either way you turn it, it's going to still be the same. But I like starting in the center uh, because when it's folded like this and... <clears throat> when I wrap this part here around it you won't see where you started and stop your stitch because I'm going to I'm going to start it here and I'm going to sew all the way around and come back to where I, I started and do my back stitch and my uh, my stitch width is about a quarter of an inch
Now I'll go back to where I started and this is where I would do my back stitch. Now what I will do, I will stitch this piece that's going to wrap around the bow, bow tie. The way this is going to go on will be like this. This is going to be your bow tie. The next piece we need to do, we need to do the, 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 uh, the strap, the neck strap, and put the hardware on and it'll be finished. Okay, now that we have the bow tie sewn together and uh, the next thing we'll do, we will put contact cement glue in between the folds, which will be in between here and when you fold it like this, in between these folds in the back. I'm not putting, I'm not going to put a lot of glue in there, just enough to hold it until I put a clamp on it to let it set for a couple of minutes and after it's set for a couple of minutes um, well, while it's setting what we'll do we will go ahead and cut out the strap which will go around the neck now this strap is going to be three quarter of an inch wide and 21 inch long that would allow us to uh, have some adjustment uh, for, for different size for different neck size so what we'll do, I'm going to use contact cement glue, and like I say, I'm not using a lot, just enough, because if you use too much, it can be seen once you put the wrap around it. So this is just enough to hold it until we can put that wrap around it with the strap. So what I'll do, I'll let this set for a minute just so it's it's kind of tacky and it's not just still just fresh because if it's fresh it, it'll move on you but if you just give it a you know about 30 seconds to dry the, the glue become kind of tacky to where it just sticks together without moving. So now what we'll do, we will give it its shape and you want to make sure that the, that the bow is pretty balanced. But sometimes you can have too much on one side and not enough on the other side. So this is the way we're going to do it. 
and also in the back make sure that one side is not back further than the other side make sure that, that they're up kind of that they're pretty much even right in here so what I'll do and you have to work with it I'm going to I'll put a clamp on here and we're going to let this dry for a couple minutes while we cut the the neck strap now the leather that you use to cut this strap here you want to make sure it's, it's pretty thin if it's too thick it will not be able to to go through this adjustable here and I'll show you why because the strap have to go through this part of this, this slider twice so that's why you don't want it to be too thick this is probably maybe um, like a one ounce it's just pretty thin but you can you can test it by um, you can test it by, by running the leather through the slider and you will know if it's too thick to use and like I say it does not have to be the same color as the, the bow tie itself because no one will see it so we're going to cut this out 21 inches by 3 quarter of an inch I'll just line this up Once we have this cut out, I'm going to square off my ends. And I think this is actually a little longer than 21, so I'm going to take a little more off of it. Okay, what we have, we have three parts to this bow tie hardware. And you can Google bow tie hardware and find these. Uh, at the end of the video, I will put uh, the link where I found these. And I found these here at a pretty good price. I want to say that and I'm just coming off the top of my head because I purchased these maybe nine months ago uh, but I want to say that that we purchased like a hundred of them for um, it may have been forty five dollars or something like that I'm not sure what it was but everybody sell them at different prices and but I'll uh, find the, the link uh, where we purchased these and put them at the end of the video but there's three parts you have a hook which will go on on one end and then you have I would call this the the catcher that which the hook will hook in two which will go on the other end and then you would have the slider which will allow you to adjust your the length of the bow tie so you have three parts 
So the way you want to do that is you want to take the, the slider and you want to run your, your strap through your slider, run it through, run it out and back in. Now this part here, we're going to glue it, and that would allow us, this, this is what's going to allow us to, to do the uh, adjustment. So what we would do is, and you can determine how wide that you want this part here to be that you're going to glue down. So this one here, I'm just going to make it to where it's, uh, you have a, let's say it's a uh, one inch fold so I'm actually I'm actually gluing it putting the mark at two inches so it's actually two inches from, from tip to here is two inches so what I will do, and I'm going to use just the uh, the water base contact cement glue. I don't need a lot. I'm going to take the slider off. And then I'm going to glue that two inch section of the leather. I will run the, the strap through the slider, go out of the slider and back into the slider. And then I will just fold, press it together Now this is why you, you do not want your leather to be too uh, too thick because this the other end is going to have to go through the slider and then back through it again. So you don't want it to be too thick. So now at this point, I will put on um, this part here, which the hook goes on and it's going to this is what's going to hold the uh, uh, bow tie together so I will take this part here and make sure that this the part that the hook is going to hook onto is on the outside not on the inside but on the outside of your strap so we'll just pull it on then we will take the strap the other end of the strap run it through we're going to run it through the the slider come on let's go we're going to run it through the slider and back through the other side So this is what's going to allow it to to adjust. That's your adjustment right there. So I will take this. See that's your adjustment right there. Now what I will do on this end, I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to only fold this one over. I'm going to do a one inch glue seam. So I'll just mark off one inch. Then I will glue this. Try not to get into the, the cameras shot. 
so you can't see. Okay, so what I would do, I would glue the one inch, and I want to make sure that the hook is facing into the inside of the strap. So I'll just bring the leather through, fold it over, and I will press this together. And this is not something that you have to sew. Uh, the water-based cement glue will hold this just fine. So now that we have the strap together, the next thing we will do is that we will take our bow tie. I'm going to use the contact cement glue. I'm going to put not a lot, and I, I want to make sure that it's not very wide. We'll put some glue all the way around. So I want to make sure that the glue is not going to be seen. Then I'm going to glue the strap well the piece that's going to hold the strap on. The one thing that I did not do and I should have done, uh, I, I should have made sure that when I wrap it that the the end of the, the wrap is going to stop in the in the back. So I might have to do this twice to get it right. But now I'm going to take I'm going to take the next strap and I'm going to just basically what I'll do, I'll just fold it and give me something that could be the center and I'll take it put the strap on Like I said, I may have to do this twice because I did not. I think I got it. I'll wrap this around. And this is your bow tie. I'm going to let this be. Like I say, you might have to just kind of work with it to get it to be the way you want it to be. But this is your bow tie. You have your adjustable strap on it. And like I say, you don't need a sewing machine to do this. If you have a sewing machine, it would allow you to give it a, a finished look. Most bow ties you see do not have a finished look like this and you really don't see a, a lot of leather bow ties. You see a lot of faux leathers and which is nice because with the faux leather you can find so many different colors uh, that you can work with. But if, if you want to take this, you want it to embellish this, you can embellish it. But uh, this is your bow tie. I hope that this video was some help to you uh, to give you another product to make. I know some of you have been waiting on me to do a video on how to make belts that's coming, uh, how to make the paper bar caps. Uh, we have many more videos to do and also uh, just keep in mind that you know everything is just going to take time. But I'm not sure if you noticed, but our lighting is much better. We had someone to to donate uh, the money for us to to buy 
the right type of lighting that we needed and hopefully that we will get people to donate to help us with the cameras to where uh, we will be able to even take our production to the next level but uh, just to uh, let you know that if you have not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and also pass this on to someone else that that you may know that are looking to work with leather or want to learn how to work with leather and uh, again Thank you for watching.